John, first of all, thanks for taking some time out to talk to us today. And I have to start off with the first obvious question, and that is, uh, by, by the unofficial count, this makes the 97th entry into the light sport aircraft market. How will Kit Fox be unique? Kit Fox is unique, one, that it's 100% American manufactured and built right at Homedale, Idaho, and our philosophy is to buy American and build American. It's important to us to help the, the local economy as well as the U.S. economy. Most importantly, a lot of our CNC parts, our routered parts, uh, laser cut parts are done by various companies within Idaho uh, from an industry standpoint, and that helps them and it helps us as well. The starting price of this aircraft in its base, most basic form is about $86,000. How did you hold that line when so many other light sport aircraft have not been able to hold the 100,000 mark? Actually, it's 83.4, um, just to make that clear. But how are we able to produce that? It, it's just running lean, you know, keeping manufacturing costs down. Uh, we, we're very hands-on. Uh, my wife and I, uh, as owners of the company, are very involved with the day-to-day -day processes in, within the factory. So it's running lean, keeping our overhead costs down, and, and offering a superior product to the LSA industry. We've been waiting for this moment. We're 97 on the list, but it was intentional that we held back and waited for a while. Go into that a little more. Why did you hold off? Because the Kit Fox has a heritage that, frankly, is a kind of an ancestor of a lot of the light sport aircraft that are out on the market now. It really is. The, the Kit Fox, as you know, was the introduction to the light sport aircraft before it actually became a, a, a rule or a definition for sport pilot. Why did we hold off? There was a lot of development, I say development, not development, but a lot of things that needed to be done and we wanted to see what the actual standards were and not jump the gun so that when we came out with a product, we came out with a very solid product that was going to that was going to meet all the, the ASTM standards correctly and proficiently and not be changing dynamically through the whole time. Uh, that and there's a lot of uh, industry LSAs that have come into the market very quickly and we wanted to see what the overall take was going to be on the industry and where that price break needed to really be. Cirrus Design's Vision SJ50 single engine personal jet offers exceptional fuel efficiency, flexible seating for up to seven, advanced avionics, and all the Cirrus safety features you expect, including the Cirrus airframe parachute system. With its detailed design, the Cirrus Vision is technologically advanced yet engineered to be simple to fly, to allow owner pilots more lifestyle pursuits than any other personal aircraft. Learn more about the Vision SJ50 at CirrusDesign.com. Let's talk about some of the features of the aircraft. What are the things that people will find in a Kit Fox Supersport SLSA that are unique or optimized for this market segment? As you said earlier, Kit Fox has been optimized for this market segment for a long time. So all we've done is refined it. We're using the Rotax 912S powered as a standard power plant. Whirlwind, uh, which is out of San Diego, it's a three-blade composite propeller. It's, it's, and that's what you see on the front of this airplane. It's a fabulous little prop. The, the Grove Aircraft wheels and brakes, Grove Aircraft aluminum spring gear, so it's very robust, very sound. Again, supporting the concept of, of by USA, and we're trying to support that as well. What's unique about the airplane into this segment? It's it's built very very stout. Uh, it's modeled right after our S7 uh, Super Sport kit, which is actually rated up to a 1550 gross weight airplane. We have not derated the structure. The empty weight of the aircraft is 789, 768 in its base form. The one sitting behind us was 789. Uh, it offers a overall aircraft that offers superior performance, very agile handling characteristics, uh, great in the backcountry as well as your local FBO for, for wherever. Um, all in all, it's just a great little airplane. All right, now, if someone is still interested in the experimental version of this aircraft, you have uh, a somewhat unique approach to fast build or builder assist going on in Homedale. Tell us how that works. Well, the, the kit market, our kits are already pretty much quick build. We get asked, do you have quick build features? Well, there's no welding required. The ribs are pre-made. So it's pretty much in quick build form already. To take it one step further, we offer a quick build wing package. Okay, and that quick build wing, we assemble the wing in our factory jigs. On top of that, what we've created is what we call a jump start program. Most folks are intimidated by the fabric covering, which is it's stitz polyfiber. It's a very simple process, but if you're not familiar with it, it's fear of the unknown. So they get a little intimidated by that, and what we do is we have our jump start program that will take the airplane. They come work with us one-on-one -on -one at the factory for a week period. 
they will do the subcomponent structures that are required to meet the 51% rule prior to cover. At the end of that program, they cover the bottom of the fuselage, so they actually get some hands-on experience on covering. From that point, they leave, and 30 days later, approximately, we'll send them an airplane that has been fabric covered, finished, taped, and ready for the finish coats. Uh, it, it's a program that works out very well, and it's been a very successful program by a lot of folks that, that enjoy it. There's a lot to the program, from sub-assemblies inside the fuselage, working one-on-one, -on -one, if you've never used rivets, or you know some of the components. If you're a first-time builder, it's a little different. Now, you flew two of your aircraft here to Lakeland from Idaho ahead of this event. How is this aircraft? I mean, it must be a fairly capable aircraft for cross-country as well. Well, uh, yeah, coming from Idaho to Florida is uh, 2,330 nautical. It was on our website, so we'll have a 4,600-mile round trip. Um, it is a very capable airplane. It's a very comfortable airplane. It handles... As a lightweight airplane, a lot of people think that they're going to be very unstable in the air. This particular airplane is very stable in the air, surprisingly so to pilots that expect it to be very bumpy and turbulent air. So it, it provides good performance plus mountain performance plus cross-country performance, and you can fly throughout the day. Now, obviously when it gets real bad in the heat of uh, New Mexico, um, it can get a little bumpy, but you just deal with it, and that's aviation. Sunny or cloudy, rainy or bright, day or night, the future of flying is now clearly in sight. Garmin SVT, synthetic vision technology. Uh, it's been since 2006 now. Uh, how do you like running Kit Fox? I mean, you, was it more than you thought you were taking on, or has it been a, a labor of love? Isn't it always more than we, we yeah. think we're taking on? Uh, it's really a labor of love. Um, I, I'm very passionate about aviation. I've been flying since I was very young. Uh, so my passion is aviation. The Kit Fox is an airplane that I actually just enjoy flying and love to fly. You climb into it, you put a smile on your face. It, it, that's what it was all about. Uh, whether it's in tail dragger configuration or tri gear configuration, doesn't matter to me so much. It's, it's just the joy of flying and recreational. Um, as a business side of it, I, I, the thing I have to keep very cautious is not to turn uh, what I'm very passionate about and what, I'm, and what I love into a job, so to speak. And we do that very effectively by flying to air shows um, or just flying in the backcountry. In all honesty, we can go up to, you know, a lot of the Idaho backcountry has breakfast places and, and we'll take off and head up there on the weekends during the summer. It is more than what we anticipated in some times, and then it's very rewarding at other times when you get to talk to builders and owners of the airplane and how happy they are with the airplane or um, how glad they are to be in a Kit Fox because of the, the, the safety record that it has. Um, just overall, it's a, it's a great family. It's a very large community, and that's important as well because you get a few of them that will hop together and just fly somewhere together. And, and when you do it as a team like that, it can make the whole trip a lot more fun. Well, John, we want to wish you all success. It's a beautiful aircraft. We're going to let our folks uh, get some shots around it here for uh, Aero TV. We uh, wish you continued success, and I want to get up to Homedale sometime and come see your place. Come on up, Paul. I'd love to have you up there. We'll go for a ride.